Willy, Willy, Willy. We're live. Yeah, live. well, we were live like two seconds ago when I was dancing. Good morning, YouTube. So we're like, we're going on Instagram. Mitch will just get his little face in the camera in one second. Um, we're going today, we're making rainbow bagels and I am like beyond excited about these. I have seen these for like the last forever and I'm just, I'm pumped for it. One more minute. We're gonna go live on Instagram. I've got all my comments here. So if you're on YouTube and you're commenting, I can see it. Um, I'm very excited today. This will be fun because the bagels were like amazing, but rainbow, rainbow bagels are going to be like to Next me. Level. Next level, anyway. Oh, I'm feeling a bit warm in this house. It's, it's absolutely freezing outside. It's very cold. Uh, when it comes to like cold. Adelaide freezing. Oh, you just kicked the camera. Uh, we'll just go <laughs> yeah, live. just go live. Just do, just do it a minute earlier. It's fine. Good morning! Which is just writing a little comment saying we're doing rainbow bagels today. We're gonna pin the comment. Um, I'm so excited for this this morning. It is going to be bloody amazing. The bagels were so good last time and now they're gonna be even better because they're gonna be rainbow. So I'm pumped. Hello everyone, welcome in. We're literally, we we're like 30 seconds too early, but that's okay. We're, we're fashionably Early. early clearly you can see me outfit i put my hair up for people who always yell at me that put my head up so i'm done it this morning um been dying for bagels yes all right so if you have a pen handy pen and paper this is all you need to remember we're going to use two ingredients plus the food coloring plus egg if you want it you don't have to use the egg it's just for like a wash on the top to make it shiny but no stress. How do we make blueberry bagels? I'll tell you exactly how to make that um, halfway through. Are your rings off? Yes, I feel like a naked little chameleon. I don't, I, it's just weird. I, have, I counted my rings this morning, I wear eight and I've had nothing because I've, I'm gonna have to do it with my hands. Um, okay, so hello from Scotland. What is, what is up? Okay, so we're gonna start because we wanna, we wanna like smash this out and then get them in the oven and then we can have a chat. So. Ovens are on 180 degrees or 200 degrees Celsius, which is 425 Fahrenheit, I assume. 425? It's more like 450. I reckon it's 400. Yeah, 200 Celsius is something Fahrenheit. I had to get so confused. Um, okay, I'm hungry. I'm hungry too. These are going to be my breakfast. So I've got some full fat Greek 392. yogurt. 390. So 390 Fahrenheit. Sorry, guys. That would have been burning bagels. Um, so we've got some Greek yogurt. So you can use um, coconut yogurt if you are vegan. You can use water even. Water is absolutely fine. So I've, I've tested it with both. You are absolutely okay to use that. So bowl. We've got some self-raising flour. If you don't have self-raising, you can use, um, what is it? You can use plain flour with a teaspoon of baking powder per cup of flour that you're using. So you need to use quite a bit. Um, just trying to get my like my live up on here. Come on, so I can see all the comments because you know these goggles don't really work that far. Um, okay, I'm on. I can see. Okay, so we've got one and a half cups of self-raising flour. We're gonna use the whole thing. This is gonna be so good. I can't wait. Oh my god, oh my god. Um, so this is a half cup measure. So I'm gonna use three of the half cups. One and a half cups. Haha. Do you even maths? Okay. Um, Mitch is behind the camera. Say hello to everyone, Mitch. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, good morning. Okay, so one and a half cups, we are, that is all done. Then we're gonna use one cup of Greek yogurt. Um, almond meal, I don't think you can use almond meal for this because it is too grainy. Someone has tried it before and it didn't work. You can use a gluten-free flour if that is um, why you're wanting to use almond meal. Um, a lot of girls in the Facebook group were trying to make it texture less like a scone. That's the thing with these, with this bagel because they're so easy. They are a little bit like a scone. Um, it's a mix between a bagel and a scone. It's not as dense. It's a little bit more fluffy. So this is kind of what that recipe is supposed to sort of like taste like. Um, but I can test another one out for you girls. You guys know I'm like your slave for anything. So I will do whatever you want. <laughs> if you want a, if you want a non scone bagel, I'll make you a non scone bagel. <laughs> Okay, so one cup of Greek yogurt. So if anyone who's just joined, we're making rainbow bagels. We are gonna bloody like kill it today. One cup, chuck that in there. And that is all you need. So you, that's, it, that's, it. that's it. So you can, if you want to add some extra spices in there, you can add salt, you can add pepper, chili, whatever you like, but we're gonna leave it plain because we're gonna put some colors in there. It's gonna be fabulous. Okay, so 
mixing all of that. I took my ring, oh, now I'm gonna take this off because this is, oh, I'm gonna lose my steps this morning. <laughs> Even though I'm not moving at all, but that's okay. Unbelievable. Okay, unbelievable. We're gonna mix this together. Mix it, mix it, mix it. Uh, for when I make this later, what, for, what should I put the oven on for? Fan force, it is um, 200 degrees Celsius. What do we say? 390 Fahrenheit, depending on where you are. Okay, so you're gonna mix this together until it's kind of like a crumbly-ish sort of texture. And then we're gonna put it out on the bench because we need to semi-knead it. It's not really like super necessary to do, but. So 90 become 400. Yeah, I think, I think that's what it is because 180. So like this is this is why Fahrenheit is just not okay <laughs> because 180 degrees is 356, but they say 350. Like, what and then do they just go from 350 to 400? Nothing in between. I don't bloody know, man. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. Okay, so that's it. We're going in there. Um, so that basically looks like a bit crumbly. Oops, get my colours out of the way. We're going to knead it together with our hands. So just push it together. Make a little like, push it together and then push it away from you. If you're gonna need, extra, you probably will need a little bit of extra flour, um, but we'll see how we go. This is fun. I actually love doing bagels or, or, or at least like scone type bagels. These are very fluffy. So these are no, no boil, um, no rise, like no sort of like fuss sort of thing. Um, American measurements are so confusing. They are so confusing. Like, why are you gonna go above a hundred? I don't understand. <laughs> it's so, it's so funny. But love Americans, so I will never say a thing. Love my American. Is that second home? America is my second home. I love America. So good. And my second home. Oh, Mitch's second home. Yeah, Mitch literally. If he had a chance to leave, I was like, Mitch, I want to live there right now. He'd be like, see ya. And just get up. <laughs> my bags are packed. And my bag is already packed and done. <laughs> we love it. Okay. Um, my friend's got a cat and. My friend's cat got freaked and scratched her eye, and I sent her pics of Ricky to help her feel better after surgery. <laughs> Oh my goodness, dude! You should have seen. Should call the live daily dose of Leah. Oh, that's some Gary Vee. That's some yeah, some daily dose. Everyone needs a little bit of daily dose in here. Okay, so we're gonna just kind of form it into like a little bowl. Once it's a bowl, which is perfect, is this using self-raising flour? Yes, it is. You can use plain flour as well with a um, little bit of baking powder as well. Sorry, I was like super confused. <laughs> um, someone said if I buy a bear, will I be accepted to the Facebook group? If I buy a bear, will I still be accepted in the Facebook group? Yeah, of course. Of course, that group is um, for bear. Like it's for all bear people, which is great. Bear members. So, okay. Halving it. I'm looking at that. I'm going to halve it again. Halve it again. And then just going to make like... I don't really know how this is going to work. I watched about 85 YouTube videos last night and I was like, you can do it, Leah. <laughs> Okay, so one of the little balls, I'm gonna use like a tiny bit of flour. Then we're gonna put some food coloring in here. Can you use wholemeal self-raising flour? Yes, um, someone has tried that and they said it was absolutely fine, so you can definitely do that. So I have got, can we please see Wally? Wally's outside demolishing a bone, so he will, he, he's busy right now. <laughs> We've got blue, yellow, green, and red. Um, we might make some other colors as well. So we're gonna do some blue first. I really hope that this doesn't go into my bench and then <laughs> make a color. <laughs> it's probably going to. I feel like we should put it on a piece of baking paper. Baking paper. I feel like we, when we did this at Mum's, it was okay because it was Mum's bench. But now that it's my bench, I'm like, mm -mm, we're not doing that. You should use gloves. Yeah, should, but probably not going to. But probably should because I am filming later on today, so hey, I probably you should. This is, this is a masterclass. We don't use we don't use gloves, but yes, you definitely can. If you're at home, use gloves. Definitely use gloves. Nothing wrong with, Nothing wrong with a bit of blue hands, you know? So it's not turning that blue, to be completely honest with you. We're gonna put some more, I reckon. Every time I say I reckon, I'm like, oh my god, Rachel Ray, I get so embarrassed. Okay, okay, okay. Ready? More blue. I'm gonna have to get some gumption to get that off my bed. <laughs> Eek. Gumption. Use Jeez. GIF, it comes straight off. Yes, yep, 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 yep. I will clean the H out before it stains stay your bench. Yeah, I will do that in one second. Once I finish these, once they're in the oven, we'll clean my bench. <laughs> we'll see if it comes off. Okay, so blue is sort of looking a bit blue. Sort of blue. Showbiz, your bench is going to stay. <laughs> no, they can't. It's fine. I, I did the other day, I got turmeric and put it on my bench, and I was like, shit. And then it was fine. 
So let's not stress. It's okay. It's okay. We've got gumption going. We've got gumption. <laughs> everything. Stop everything. You need the blue off the bench. Ah. Oh, okay. Fine. Let's do it. Okay. That blue's done. We'll get some. What is it called? What's it gumption. called, Mitch? Gumption. 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 This is what happens in showbiz, Mitch. Have you ever Have you ever heard of that term? After. Huh? This is what it's meant to happen after. Yeah. No. After when no one sees it. It's alright. It's only. It's literally the tiniest bit. Get it away from. Oh, came off straight away. Boom. Literally, there is nothing there. Ha! Well done, Leah. What'd you say? Cupboard? Close the cupboard, Leah. All right. I'm probably should wash my hands. Right? Gumption is the best. That's what my. That's what showbiz is. Right. Happy now, everyone. <laughs> Everyone, the, my bench is clean. My mum won't yell at me. You guys aren't gonna yell at me. We've, we're, we're on, we're on, we're on. <laughs> Everyone's saying, everyone calm down. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry. You should see the rest of my house. Have you worried about my bench? Yeah. <laughs> it's a lazy worries. <laughs> Wally's pee is everywhere. <laughs> um, okay, so we've got, was it one and a half cups? So it was one and a half cups of self-raising flour, one cup of yogurt. Um, yeah, no shit. Oh, it's not too bad on my hands. Okay, so this is, that's it, they're, they're done. You know what, the funny thing is we're doing a photo shoot today and I need my hands <laughs> in the photo, <laughs> which is gonna be hilarious. Get gel food coloring, why it work better than liquid food coloring, it's more concentrated. Good idea. I don't really use food coloring like ever, so I have no idea about any of this. All right, we've got some red. Let's do it like a little. I kind of wanted it to be more pinky. We can use some yellow as well to make that pink, but okay. We can just mix up the colors, you know? We can just, yeah, it's just showbiz. We just do, we do what we do, what we do. That bagel matches your shirt. Yes, it does. How's your back today? Awful. Um, <laughs> no, nah, it's actually, it's a lot better. A lot better, which is awesome. Um, just gonna do my rehab. Just gonna do my, my thang, and then we're good. If you, if you don't, if you're not positive, if I'm not positive about it, it'll be worse, so I'm happy. Put on some gloves. Nah, we're good. We're totally fine. This will come off. This is like, I think this is the, um, I don't know, I read on it, it was like easy wash or some shit, so it should be fine. No big deal. All right, it's not really going as like, it's not really like, you know, getting into the mixture as I wanted it to, but um, careful the data. Don't worry, guys. It's not gonna, it's not gonna do it. Even if it does, that's showbiz. We'll just have colorful bench. We love that. I love that. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so we've done red, blue. We'll do some yellow. And then we'll do a green. And then, I reckon that's probably it. And then we'll put them all together. Just tell everyone you murdered someone. <laughs> yeah, when they come over, I'll be like, what's on the bench? Oh, just, you know, blood. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. <laughs> that's so nice. Mitch helped you the other day. He's been an absolute angel. Angel, angel, angel. He's been so good. He won't tell anyone that he's been that great, but you know, he's just reading the comments being like, what? Maybe the color of the yogurt for easier, more even color distribution. Great idea. Where were you about half an hour ago? <laughs> no, that's a really good idea. Yeah, it could not be the coloring because of the flower. Yeah, for sure. I reckon that, but it's still coloring. It's still doing really cool. Like you can still, it doesn't either matter. Mitch has gone quiet. Yeah, he's gone so quiet today. You mean quiet? I'm not quiet. You're quiet. I'm just stressing about the bench, like 4,000 other <laughs> Don't stress about the bench. Okay, we've got yellow, blue, oh, right. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Clearly. My mum's going to be like, what the f <laughs> Okay, last one, green. So yeah, if you're going to do this, like at a later date, you could um, definitely, definitely, um, what's it called, colour the yoghurt before and then do this, which was a fabulous idea. Very much appreciate that idea. 20 minutes too late. I actually love how my hands look right now. It looks so cool. <laughs> Mitch is being so nice to get him a ute. That's not, that's not how this works. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, shit. Mitch is like, ah, oh, shit, I'm just wasting my time. <laughs> okay. All right. That is now done. So apparently now what we do is might get another sheet it's gonna be really hard. Get the sheets in. But if that came off the bench, I'm just gonna do it straight on the bench, YOLO. <laughs> um, could you do this with other flavored bagels too, other than plain? Yes, you can definitely do that. Yeah, I'll use the gumption on my hands as well, everyone. Yes, great idea. Okay, so I'm gonna put that on the bench. We're gonna roll it out. It actually looks really cool. Like, 
really cool color. I really love that. Yeah, big fan. It's like um, cool. marble. It's like we've got some fancy bagels up in here. How good's that? So flour your bench, and then you're just going to basically roll it out. It's perfect. It's perfect. It is perfect. Live cooking with Yiya. No, she is a weapon, and you cannot. I know you do not want to. We're also in ISO. We're, yeah, we're also in ISO, so we can do that. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna we've got yellow. Roll it out. All right. So you basically, you roll all them out, and then you put them on top of each other, and then you cut it into like slices. So you no kind of want it to be. Way. Yeah. Specific. Yeah, you kind of want it to be. So the, usually these would be like full colored, but I think that's still really cool. I still really like that idea. Yeah, okay. So basically, yeah, you're putting it straight on top of the other one. Um, tie-dye bagels, yes! Stuff rainbow bagels, they're tie-dye bagels. That is such a good idea. Thank you, everyone. That's what they're gonna be called from now on. Mitch, change the pin. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. You can gather up to 10 in Adelaide. Yes, you can, which is really, which is good. Yes, but, we're looking at but yeah, I'm too scared about Yeah, Yeah's very like, and she's also like, she's hurt her knee and she's just like, just sad, sad, sad. And she also won't let us go near her. She's like, Safety first, guys. She, <laughs> she like goes to her window and then we're like, hi, yeah, yeah. She's like, stay there, don't move. And then like get, brings food out and then runs back inside. So we're like, okay, hilarious. All right, this one is the last one. And then we are going to roll. I wash my hands because they're getting a little bit sticky. It looks perfect. It's perfect. Except this one's got a little bit of green in it because of the because <laughs> of the roll. But that's okay. Christmas. It's Christmas. Tie-dye bagel. That is such a good idea, you guys. I'm like pumped about that idea. Yeah, big fan about that. Big, big fan. Okay, so now that's on top of each other. See, all of them are on top. So they obviously have a bit of flour on them. So we then cut them. Oh, I can't see anything. You want to like slice. The other, the other lady, like she had yeast and stuff in hers that I was watching. So hers was like intensely like hard. So these aren't going to be that hard. So let's just get like a slice of three. Can you see that? And then apparently you twist them, twist it, make it like stretch it out a little bit, stretch it out. So obviously you want it to be like a little bit bigger than what mine was. If you can stretch That's out yours so a little bit. Yeah, it's gonna be really cool. Then you twist them. So they look like, like one of those, um, what are those lollies called? Uh, mm, sour straps. straps, yeah. And then you put it together. And That's then, epic. yeah, it's gonna be really cool. And then it cooks like that. That is so cool. That is really, really cool. Did you put salt in the mixture? I didn't put anything in the mixture. Um, if your dough is sticky, add a little bit more flour. Keep adding flour and keep kneading it. So let's get a tray, yes. Does anyone else have a drawer like that that you literally just close your eyes and hope that no one else can hear that noise? That's the showbiz drawer. It is the showbiz drawer, literally. All right, so ugh, that one goes on. I think these are gonna be really cool. Hopefully they like, um, hopefully they puff up like they did last time, like fingers, fingers crossed. Um, did you stick the layer together? So no, basically they're just sitting there like that. Um, you can probably stick them with a little bit of egg, but you can kind of just squish them down sort of thing. You can squeeze them, squish them together. And then when you spin it, they basically stick together anyway. Um, can you just explain what you're doing for in an American accent? Oh, okay, yeah, we can do that. Uh, so I'm making tie-dye bagels. Um, we're gonna put some uh, carine cheese and some, what's it called? <laughs> Salt and some salmon. And <laughs> I can't, I'm too Aussie for this. I can't do it. I can't, I can't, I can't. Someone said I'm not convinced these are gonna be bagels. Don't doubt, don't doubt. It's gonna be good, I promise you. These aren't like typical bagels that are gonna be really thick and dense. There's a very light version of a bagel. I promise you, they're amazing. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> People are loving my American accent. T trust me guys, I told you, if I could just speak to Trump for one second, he'd let me in. Like. <laughs> Be like, just, all right, this bagel is good. The other lady's bagels looked much better than mine, but I don't care. That's what showbiz is. You just do what you gotta do. That's it. Not doing too bad. Thanks for trying. What's with the haters? Chill, yours is fun. 
<laughs> I know people are so mean. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Yeah, this is basically just for fun, guys. I wouldn't make this on a normal day, but this is like if you've got kids and you're bored in a home, like why not? Bored in the house and you're in the house bored. Okay, so I need an egg. Bear it back while I get an egg. Do we have eggs? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Okay, I need an egg and I need a bowl. Can I still see me? Yeah. No. Okay. All right. An egg. So this is an option. You don't actually need the, the whole egg. Like if you want to use an egg um, for egg wash, you can. You can use like almond milk or something like that, um, which is like super easy, but do the renegade TikTok. I can't do that, no way. All right, so whisk your egg and then you're just gonna put it on top. Wipe it on top. All right. Oh my God, this looks really cool. These look awesome, just saying guys. Whoever's doubting me in the, in the comments. Okay, all right, right. We're gonna do this. And then I want you guys to tell me what your favorite bagel topping is and I'll see if I have it in the house so we can see if we can make it, which will be delish. It'll be splendid. It'll be splendid. What accent is that? I don't know. British. I, where you come from? That's like a sc what is that? Like, I don't even know. Okay, that is them. How cool is that? They are gonna go in the um, in the oven now. So we're gonna, fingers crossed, that they cook. Let's just put them in there now. Oh my God. I'm so nervous that they're not gonna work and then all of this was for nothing. Um, those look fun. Cream cheese, sprinkles, mm -hmm. garlic salt. I definitely have garlic salt. That would be delicious. Um, yum. So, oh my god, this, this dye comes straight off your hands. This is so good. That's amazing. I'm not going to wash it, like, properly, properly. What else did they say? Mitch should, Mitch should do an American accent. <laughs> yeah. That was my name. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's my favourite. Mm -hmm. I love, that's my, that's our favorite thing that, uh, like, is it an American thing? American, American it's an American thing. You guys, that, that, that you say something, they go, mm-hmm, and you're like. Instead of responding. Instead of saying like, cool, thanks, whatever, bye. Like, you just say, mm-hmm, and you're like, is the conversation ended? Like, <laughs> I don't know if I'm, <laughs> if I'm meant to be sitting here. Um, so they're going in the oven, sorry, I didn't say that. They're going in the oven for um, 20 minutes-ish, 15, 20 minutes. My oven's been on, so it's pretty hot. Um, so fingers crossed, but look at that. I came off like, I didn't even wash them properly at all. That's pretty good. Mmm. Mm-hmm, love mm -hmm, it. Mm-hmm, mm, -hmm. mm -hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. How? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> have you made your own Nutella? No, fairy bread. Yum, I love fairy bread so much. I think we should make a, someone's asking what, what about the others on the bench? Yeah, I'll def, I'll make, I'll, that's like huge amount. I'm not gonna make them right now because obviously that'll take me like all legit hours and I'll dirty my hands again, <laughs> but I'll make them. I'll put that in the fridge and we'll make them later. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Yeah, I love it, people understand that, mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> can we roll into a sausage and then make it into a circle? Yes, so if you're making regular bagels, all you do is just grab like this mixture, roll it into a bowl, then into a sausage, and then you're gonna like, obviously put it together. You need to pinch the edges because they're not so, um, they're not like, they won't stick together. So you can either wrap them around, pinch the edges together, um, Sort of like, is this going on YouTube? Yes, it's going on YouTube, don't stress. This whole video will be there. Um, yeah, so you're gonna need to like pinch the edges. So let me like clean this up a little tiny bit and then we'll make some like toppings for the bagels if they're gonna be delicious. So I'm thinking, I think all I really have in this house is like cream cheese because you have to have that in your house. Then I've got like artichokes, capers, like something like that. Like maybe I should just do like a Mediterranean version, like a topping version or something Ooh. like that. Could be delish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, this, I'll make them as well. They'll go in the other, other pile. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pumpkin bagels, yum. Melted cheese. Mm, grilled cheese. Yes. What about grilled cheese? Grill, a grilled cheese? Mm -hmm. What's a gr oh, grilled cheese is a, um, what's it called? What is it? A toasty. A, a breville? A toasty. A toasty. We call them toasties. Yum. Mm. Any food intolerances between the two of you? Mitch? I'm um, allergic to seafood. He's allergic to seafood. 
is not allergic to seafood one bit. <laughs> um, he's a liar. He just doesn't like it. But then he like he'll be like prawns are disgusting, and then two seconds later he'll be eating baby prawns and fried rice from this Chinese shop, and we're like, you're eating prawns. He's like, yeah, but they're not really prawns. They're just baby ones. I'm like, fuck. I'm just I'm done with you today. Actually finished because. <laughs> Um, all right, this cream cheese thing, this is like not cleaning my bench, but I really don't have the, the time. You know what I mean? Oh, I still have the gumption out, Jesus. Train wreck. Okay, so I've got this, sun-dried tomatoes. We've got cream cheese. Um, we've got artichokes. We've got capers. And I've got like garlic, salt and pepper. So what do you guys reckon? What are we thinking? Um... Let's have a look. Yum. I love it. I love the idea of garlic salt. So I think we're going to do some cream cheese for sure. But it's definitely going to be 100%. Mm -hmm. Or just by itself. Mm -hmm. Mitch is just, Mitch, what's your like cream, what's your bagel order? I get a plain bagel with, Pla with butter. Plain bagel with butter. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. And it's good. Really? So good. In fact. Ah. <laughs> I like, like bagel. Cream cheese, smoked salmon, capers, red onion. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Have that at Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even have a Starbucks. Mm. We don't have anything. We sprinkle garlic on before we bake. Damn it, Valeska, why didn't you tell me that before? You should have texted me. <laughs> All right, this cream cheese was like super th um, thick. So I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling this. Is a bagel like a donut? A bagel is like a dense bread. Do you reckon? It's like a donut shaped dense yeah, bread. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. It's not like a It's donut. not like a, it's definitely not like a donut and it's not sweet. It, there's, oh, you can have sweet ones, but it's definitely like, just like, I don't know, a it's plain like, yeah, thick like dense, dense bread. bread is what I would call it. Like kind of the, Wally, I'm going to step on you in a second. A little bit of salt. Would you like some? Look at the bagels I made you. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I've got artichokes here. Does anyone else like artichokes? No, no. Everyone said no. What? No, you said no. Did everyone actually say no? No Starbucks in Adelaide. No, we have no Starbucks. We don't have Starbucks at, at all. We have it in um, Melbourne. Yeah, in Melbourne. Definitely everything gets in Melbourne. We don't have nothing. Um, so, yeah, no, we don't have anything. Everyone's saying, yes, they are my life. All right, whatever, they're going in. I'm eating this, so they're going in. We've got some marinated artichoke hearts. So we'll do like three, mash them up. Should we do some of this. You're coming over here. Oh, <laughs> closing the drawer. <laughs> Why? You don't have a Starbucks. What did someone say? You don't have a Starbucks. There's a reason to be the, yeah, so we don't have a Starbucks. You know what? What was that thing that we got from Starbucks at one time? Oh my God, what was it? What was it? Uh, the, not the, oh. it? no, not a frappe. No, it was Lenny. Remember how we went? So I was in Kentucky and we went through a Starbucks. Was it Kentucky? Yes, because we were with Lenny. Yeah, yeah. Um, a Starbucks and she got a caramel. Mocha. Caramel iced mocha. Caramel iced mocha. So I think it was an like iced mocha with like caramel shots and then like whipped cream on the top with like caramel sauce. Oh, fuck me. It was so good. And I was just sitting there like living my life. And I just, but then I realized there's, they are like your entire daily intake in one cup. <laughs> but honestly worth it worth every second of it because that was it was so yum like so so yum aussie coffee is so much better uh oh now we're gonna have um now we're gonna have an argument of whose coffee is better aussie coffee is better but whatever sun-dried tomatoes gonna put a couple in there yum do anyone else like sun-dried tomatoes i'm obsessed um, Aussies have the best coffee we do we honestly have such a good coffee um when i was in america we were like trying to like um seek out Australian cafes because I just wanted I just wanted an Aussie like latte is what I wanted um what did what did you get given we were in Europe once and mum was like can I have a latte and they're like yeah sure and they brought out her out hot milk and she was like <laughs> what <laughs> it was people hilarious on Starbucks. I think they need to understand it's just the novelty of being in America <laughs> people are hating on Starbucks is that what yeah. people say yeah I think Starbucks is just like a um it's just the, like, it's like a McDonald's, like it's yeah. convenience. Like I think that's what it is. I don't think it's like, um, like amazing, amazing, but it's, it's like, it's a novelty. When I see it, I'm like, oh my gosh, like it's exciting. Um, same when I saw In-N-Out Burger, what else did we go to? Shake Shack. 
What else? What else is in, in America? In acid in and out, in and out and Shake Shack. That was the only real ones yes, that we were like amazed at. When I saw it in out, I was like, nah, that is ridiculous. We have to go there. It was not that good, but I was like, so pumped. Fun um, things to try in America. Fun things to try in America? As in, that's what they are. Oh yeah, they are, they are fun things to try in America, yeah. A grocery store is super different between America and Australia. Yes. Yeah, Your very, very Walmart, and my, my friend always laughs me when I, when I say Walmart, because she thinks, how, how does she think I say it? She thinks I like extend the A too much. <laughs> you can say Wal Walmart. No, no, yeah, Wal. Walmart. Walmart. But it's Walmart. I know, but it's there. <laughs> what? Um, yeah, so it's like, it's Walmart. Like, so your Walmart is like, we have like Bunnings, Mighty 10. We have, um, what is it? What else do they have there? Like Spotlight. We have all these stores that are, are your Walmart. Like you sell like tools in your shopping center, like in your shops. And I'm like, what? Why do you do this? It's great. Oh, Taco Bell. Yes, we saw a Taco Bell. That was very interesting. Very, very exciting. Burger King. We have a Burger King, I think, and I think I've seen them in Bali before. Um, Burger King's Hungry Jacks. Yeah, Bur your Burger King's our Hungry Jacks. So I think it's like very, very similar. Oh my God, the bagels look amazing. Five more minutes and then we're pulling them out. Oh my God, yum. Um, what's your, what's, name one favorite thing from Australia and then about the US. My favorite thing from Australia is our beaches and our like, what is it? Like, I don't know, the vibe. The sun, the oh, heat, your favorite thing, no the heat, the beaches, the like, yeah, everything's just nice in the summer. Like it's really like, I don't know, friendly and fun. But in America, I love um, the like, I don't know, I guess it's a novelty. The people are really nice. I love the people. The accent's amazing, clearly. I'm trying my hardest. Um, yeah, it's really fun. It's like, America's just, I just like it. I just like it. America's America. It's awesome. So good, my favorite. So what was your favorite thing about America? Just the vibe. The vibe. America's just a vibe. <laughs> what kind of answer is that? It's the whole Give vibe. people what they want. Aussie mentality, yeah, the mentality, yeah, the vibe. And literally, uh, America is a whole vibe to me. Um, What is it? What is your small little coffee? So this coffee is a, like a, what would you call it? Piccolo. Piccolo, piccolo or sure half latte. Same, same. Um, so basically it's like a um, shot of coffee with like half the amount of milk that you would put in a latte just because I don't like it too milky. Um, yeah. Everyone's like, you'd love to come visit Mexico. Yes, for sure. Um, what was it? <laughs> Samara Page, that is, I'm not going to read that comment out. It's inappropriate, but that's hilarious. Um, I'm moving there if the coffee is for, is good. Have you guys ever been? And like, I love how some like with with America. I always go on about America. I love it. Um, but they're like, I would love to come to Australia, but it's just too far. And then when we travel there, they're like, I'm like, I could go to America like two, three times a year, but I would love that. And it's not that big of a travel. Like, I, like, but a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, like it's so far away. Like it's on the other side of the earth. But like, I genuinely think it's like. It's not that bad. Like the flight isn't that bad. What's that then? Like, like the Americans and people think that like Australia is so it's far away. Like but yeah, it's like a 13 hour flight. It's not that bad. Um, how long in the oven? They're so pretty to look at, I know. Um, so they're going for, in the oven for about 20 minutes, but I think I'm gonna pull them out. I don't remember what time I put them in there, but I'm gonna pull them out. 12 minutes ago. 12 minutes ago. Yeah, pull them out in like five um, and we'll see how we go. Um, I'm so excited. They smell good. That's cause down the road, is six hours in Australia, yeah. <laughs> That's the funniest. Um, favorite place we've traveled? Oh, mine's definitely America. Mm. I would say California's my favorite. Yeah, place. yeah, I really liked, when, where were we? Um, we were in LA. Airbnb? Yes. That was sick. Airbnb in LA and it was so, like it was just, it reminded me of home. Cause it was very, we were in like, I guess like the suburbs. I don't know if that, I don't know if that's what you'd we, say. Like the suburbs, suburbs of like Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills. We, we had a, we had a, a, a Airbnb in Beverly Hills. Just like someone's like out guest shed house. guest house thing. Um, it was really nice, but it just felt like home sort of. Cause you kind of was like, there was house after house and it was just like, I don't know. It felt like home and it was really nice. I loved it. Um, yeah, it was really good. What about Europe? I love Europe. I just haven't been there in forever. Um, would you do a destination wedding? Nope. 
<laughs> Mitch and I are like, no, nope, we're having a barbecue and everyone can go home at 9 p.m. I'm not having a wedding. Sorry, guys. Sorry to disappoint. SPF. It's not my vibe. Okay. This is going on my bagel. So it's got cream cheese, artichoke, semi sun dried tomatoes. Should we put capers in there? Do we love capers or do we not love capers? I do love capers. Okay. What temp is my oven? 200 degrees Celsius. 390 Fahrenheit. So I'm gonna put a couple of capers in there. Just a little bit. I don't wanna put too much. Just a touch. Um, yep. Elope, don't like, love capers. I love, people, you either love them or you absolutely hate them and I love them. So I'm like, I'm, yeah, I love, love, love them. All right, they're going on in. Settle, settle an argument, are brownies cookies or their own thing? Uh, oh, are brownies a cookie? No? No, brownies what do you mean? Are very different. Brownie is a brownie and a cookie is a cookie. <laughs> what question <laughs> is this? Who is arguing about this? I need to have a chat with them. They don't know what a brown brownies are not cookies. They're different. Yes, correct. I hope that I'm on your side because <laughs> that would. Cookies different in America. Oh, cookies could be different wherever you are, but I still think that's the same thing. Cookie and no, nah, same same. Same. No, no. Yeah, Maybe. Same. Okay. I feel like we're gonna pull them out. All right. Let's have a look. Whatever they are, if they need to be put back in, I'll put them back in later. So it's been 15 minutes. We'll chuck them out. Oh. Woo! Woohoo! Tie-dye bagels! Oh my god, this is really fucking hot. Okay, let me pick up one. It's probably like super hot. Oh, that looks so good! How amazing! That's heavy. That is so cool. Can you do these ones? You're right, welcome. Mitch always laughs because I pat myself on the back whenever I do something. He was like, why do you do that? I'm like, because... What do you mean? Showbiz, it's showbiz. How good does that look? Oh my goodness. They're all like that. They're all perfect. And they actually have like a little bit of a, cr like a crust because of how we like, we, um, oh yes. They look so good. That tie dye is like fab. All right, let's, let's cut one open. Let's cut, open. Let's cut the I small weenie one chat, open. No? Have a little chat. And then we'll put our, we'll put our um, cream stuff on it. Okay, this is really hot. Can you just tell people that this will be saved on YouTube and then the feed will be? Perfect? Yeah, so this, as soon as this video goes out, it'll be saved on, oh my God, wait, 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 before I say that, look at this, because I'm gonna get way distracted. Oh, mm -hmm. when you open it, it's like mm -hmm. so cool in there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you want some. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this, whole video is going to be on Instagram, IGTV, like it'll be on the feed, but it will be um, streamed on YouTube as well so you can, so you can find it anytime. Um, just so it doesn't get like lost anytime, in the feed. Anywhere. Anytime, anywhere. But look, that's the front and that is the back. Well, there's the inside of it. How fun is that? And this obviously is something that you wouldn't typically do, but like you, if you've got kids at home or if you're just like wanting to just experiment and do something fun in the kitchen, why not? Like, why wouldn't you? I think we should pretend this is a TV show and have the live audience clapping now. Okay, live audience, everyone needs to give me a round of applause. Thank you very much. I'm going to ask myself. <laughs> Let me eat this. Do you want to try one? Uh, no. Why? Later, you know? Never try anything. <laughs> oh my god. Are they good? Oh, yum! That is so good. That is definitely going to be my breakfast. I'm, oh my God. Yum. I'm pumped. That is delicious. Bay goals. Bay goals. Bagel goals. Everyone's giving me, ah, oh, everyone's giving me an applause. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Pat on the back. <laughs> Fuck, I love everyone in here. Seriously, this is why, this is why, this I, is why, this is why I act the way I do. Because I get this stuff and I sit there, I'm like, yeah, pat myself on the back, yo. Hilarious. Oh my God, how funny. Can you send me the recipe? Recipe will be um, on the feed as well as soon as I post this, so don't stress. Is this in your bear recipe book? This, like, so this recipe is not in the bear recipe book, but we do use bagels in the bear guide. So if you want, if you have bear and you're wanting to um, just home cook, grab this recipe and use those bear, bagel recipes in this. Um, I'm so glad you guys loved it. I think we're gonna head now. Um, but I'm so glad you loved it. I'm going to take so many pics with these. You guys are going to be, oh my God, I'm so excited. 
Are we so excited? All right, we're going to say goodbye to YouTube first. Everyone say goodbye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube. <laughs>